gents if there's any gents so in um, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to make the shaped masks like this which we are lovingly calling the bra cup mask um, and at the moment we are making them with head straps which are um, more comfortable than the ear straps um, so I'm going to take you through construction so So we have the inner liner and what we're aiming for with this is also to add in um, a pocket for a neck clip, nose clip, okay? So we're going to start with that. Now what we've done is used a contrasting fabric for the liner, but you could do it the same fabric, it's up to you. So, first job is to sew uh, down the curve. Now, the other thing to be aware of these is um, we're doing them in a teen and an adult style. Um, the pattern is for a quarter inch seam allowance or the edge of your foot. Try to keep to the seam allowance so that it doesn't alter the sizing of what you're making. Okay, so round the curve, take it easy because you want a nice neat curve. Obviously if you're um, an experienced uh, sewer, go for it. And also you can batch sew these elements. Again, if you're a less experienced sewer, uh, you might want to do forward and back um, on your ends to make sure everything stays neat and together. And then we run along the curve, snipping out. And I do four is enough on this curve. Now on this pattern, if you're following the instructions from the website, it will tell you to iron at this stage. For me, I don't like trying to iron a curve. And as the next step is top stitching, I prefer to top stitch the seam in. Now, whether ironing or top stitching, please make sure that you are getting right into the seam, the stitching of the seam. And then when we're doing top stitching, about a millimetre from the edge, ideally as close as you dare. So take it slow, work into the curve, make sure your seam is flat one way or the other on this curve. I like to work with the um, underseam the same direction on everything and then you'll see when we join um, so the two pieces together in a minute, that works in our favour. So a neat top stitch, that gives us our structure of the curve. And we're going to hem each end. And I want you to hem this as small as you can get away with, while still holding your own edges in. So turning over twice but as you can see that's probably about half a centimetre there max and again less experienced sewer do a forward and reverse at the beginning of and the end seam on the other side
next thing is the nose clip. Um, you can use two, two inch bow binding for this or you can make your own. So we've made our own in the same fabric as the liner. You're just turning over half a centimetre each end so that we've got a neat end and it's not a raw edge. And again, batch sewing, do a whole pile of these in one go. Makes life a lot easier. Okay. Then I want you to fold that in half and then half again that way. For some reason we're not quite squared off so I'm just gonna trim that slightly so that it's even both sides. Now what I'm going to do now you may wish to mark this with a pin but what I've done is folded it in half so I can find the middle and then I want to match the middle of that to the seam. Keep that folded. Can you see that is matching the raw edge? We're actually going to sew that in position on the folded side. And again, we're going for as close to the edge as we dare get away with. Sew that into position, move your pin as you go. So just take it easy, particularly until you get into this, and go at a nice slow pace, and then you'll have a nice neat finish. the surplus off the top also gets rid of my loose cottons so this is our liner complete and ready to join to our front now what we're doing on our front is exactly the same as the beginning of the liner we're going to sew down the curve we're going to um, snip away and then we're going to turn it out and we're going to top stitch. So here's that one I've done earlier. And then what we will do is right side to right side. We're going to match these middle seams. Put a pin in just so that our centers stay together. Just flatten it out. If you're a pinner, you may wish to pin that in place. It doesn't really need it. So start from the edge of the liner where your hem is. Again, we're running along the side of the foot. That's your seam allowance. Do a forward and back at the beginning so that it's not going to come away. Work our way round. Whip out your pin. sure your middle seam is together on the bottom. 
again. Pump in to hold it. Flatten out. Start from the edge of the liner. So we're joining the um, bottom seam again. We're running along the edge of the foot for our seam allowance. Dip our edges together. Forward and back each end. So then we do the magic turn through. Because I've used um, different colours on my front and back, um, finishing off, I'm going to be top stitching, so I'm just going to switch to black cotton now for my finishing off. is probably the fiddliest bit you're gonna do is we need to turn over the tiniest seam which is basically half of our tiny seam allowance and we're gonna start at the end and we're going to run straight from that turned over hem you can see straight to top stitching our joined edge. You see there's a slightly um, larger top stitch here, probably a little more one and a half to two mil. Now just before I get to the end of the liner, I'm just gonna turn this under so that I can run straight off the end. So can you see we're just gonna run Straight off and top stitch that element. And then we're going to repeat that with the top curved edge. So just take a moment to make sure that's a nice neat turn. Stitch, snipping off any loose cottons. ahead of yourself you're getting right into that crease those of you who like to iron might like to iron this in but I prefer to stay sewing and sew my seams in Again, 
um, just turn a small hem on the black, which is your front. So that as you come off there, you straight off the end. So you can see we've got our nose clip pocket. This will be our filter pocket. And now we're just going to finish off for the elastic. Now you're turning in a small amount and again, now for some reason, um, we're a bit wider on the bottom, but it's fine. So this is actually a forming a small elastic pocket and can you see your seam edge is running along the edge of your lining. So again, a really small half centimetre turn and then turn so you're right on that edge. Now, if you find you've got elastic that is wider than about half a centimetre, tends to come in a six mil, then you will need to you might need to make that a little bit wider. So with the nose clips, we're using um, garden twine. Um, because it's nice and flexible but it does stay and it's easy to thread in so we cut our length about 10 centimeters obviously it needs to be slightly smaller than your pouch um, we use ply uh, well pliers to cut it um, and all you do is literally thread it in and the thing with this because it's a pouch and we haven't sewn the ends up, obviously it's removable for the wash as well. Alternatives for the nose clip are also pipe cleaners. Um, it just needs to be a wire. And when you put it on the nose, you can then shape it and it will hold the shape, okay? And then with the elastics, We are doing a head elastic on these. It's more comfortable. Um, you need to use your discretion depending on how stretchy your elastic is, okay? But our rule of thumb is 20, uh, 75 centimeters for the adult size and 65 centimeters for the teen, okay? So we have a safety pin we've attached it we're going to run through that pocket pull through about halfway and then run back through that pocket these pockets these pockets are a nice size for this size elastic, which is about um, six mil. As I say, if you've got elastic that is wider than that, when you're cutting your outer layer, add just a centimeter or two to the length to make sure that your pocket is going to be wide enough to take the elastic. Okay, so once you've gone through both pockets, we're going to tighten it 
tie a knot as close to the end as we can get. And then pull that as tight as you can get the knot to go because then what we want you to do is just pull it for neat this is for neatness is to just tease it back into the pocket gotta work on that but once you've got it in there you go so there's your finished mask. You can adjust your, ne your nose and you put it over your head and one goes up, one goes down and it fits nice and snugly. Okay?